I will never forget this date. We live on the top floor. I was with my son Eli. His 18th birthday was the next day. And we were getting ready for the celebration, deciding where we would buy the cake. My other son, Jean-Claude, is nine and was taking lessons downstairs. Suddenly, we saw a huge white cloud. Everything became white. There was a big flash, and we became deaf. My neighbor was covered in blood. I started to think, what happened to my other son? We tried to go downstairs, but it was too difficult. People were crying and hurt. We could not reach him. Finally, by the grace of God, we did. My house is destroyed, but I thank God we are safe. We were sitting in church, having a small meeting. My wife and three-year-old son were with me, and all of a sudden the electricity cut out. It felt like an earthquake. We went outside. Everything was totally out of control. People were running into each other. I started to think about my other two children. They were in another city. The mobile network was down, and we could not reach them. When we finally did, they told us they ran out of the house and were saved from the shattered glass. Thank God, when we got back to the church, we saw everything was destroyed. My son is afraid to go near windows, and every time we say we are going to church, he says, Papa, will there be another explosion? I have two kids, ages five and seven. They were on the balcony playing, and my wife was in the kitchen. I went out to the kids on the balcony, and suddenly we heard a loud sound, and then a blast. We flew forward one and a half meters, landing on the sofa. It was like a bomb went off inside the house. We could see the support beams and steel rods. The kids were frightened and screaming. All the glass was shattered and the two wooden doors inside were sucked out. Now when my kids hear a loud noise, like a door shutting, they remember that. They are traumatized. I live in uh, Ashrafiye, facing the pool, and I'm on the sixth floor. So if I stand near the window, I can see just the pool in front of me. And uh, we heard the big explosion, and we saw the fire and the smoke coming out. I almost uh, fainted when I saw my house destroyed totally from inside. And I saw pieces and chunks of glass penetrating the walls, the furniture. Mostly all my neighbors had been injured and they were hospitalized. I was lucky to be alive. And I say, thank you, God, I'm still alive. And due to the worst economic situation in Lebanon, I lost my job. Plus, my husband has uh, passed away. Trying to manage in this life, I don't know what to say more.